I'm in it just to rewrite history. Cause I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics ain't used to. Victorious. Morning guys, I'm just about to head to the gym for Barbell Club, obviously it's Saturday, I do that every Saturday, I'm really excited. My my brain is kind of buzzy today and <laughs> those of you that know me know that I've got um, obviously bipolar disorder and <laughs> some days I'm just like, I, yeah, I can't stop, it, my brain is just like a constant buzzing, <laughs> like bees in my head and thinking about everything all the time constantly and the only way I know to help me sort that is to do like some high intensity exercise and barbell is not very intense <laughs> it's a lot of like technique work and i love it so much but i think i'm gonna have to come back and do some work on the bike or something that's more high intensity <laughs> unless barbell works i'm not sure it will but if barbell does it for me then i'll do that honestly i'm all over the place <laughs> like, i don't feel bad i just feel like yeah buzzy <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym first. I'm literally getting distracted by my own brain. I'm gonna go to the gym first and then I will come home and figure what I'm gonna do from there. Really exciting news. It sounds like I'm gonna be doing a ab sale next weekend for Hugs for Henry. It's for Hugs for Henry who is, they are a charity for children with cancer. So I will put the links down below if you wanna support that charity because that will be happening the weekend this vlog comes out. So hop over to my Instagram and follow all the links and check them out as well, Inaccessible Solutions. They're awesome guys. They're running it, they're like ex-military and I met them last year after doing SAS. And also one of the first videos on my channel is like me with them doing loads of ad sales and cool stuff. So check them out. But yeah, it sounds like that's going to go ahead and I might have some of the others from SAS coming with me, which is really exciting. We'll try and raise some money for charity. So, and then tomorrow, um, that will be next week's vlog, but tomorrow I've got that volunteer work for the triathlon. So I get a ticket to the triathlon that I want to do in September, which is really exciting. It's in Newquay. The G7 is on, so <laughs> that could be an issue with like transport and oh, I don't, I don't know how it's going to go, but basically I have to leave here at like five o'clock in the morning to go there. So hopefully I make it, <laughs> um, yeah, but I'll be there at like 5am, it's a really early start, but what I might do is like get some videos of the scenery for you and show you a bit of Niki because it's lush <laughs> and I'll show you what that's like, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing honestly like I'm the venue control to begin with and then I think I'm on the bike I'm like one of the people helping out with the bikes so that's exciting but yeah anyway distracting myself I'm gonna go to the gym and train because otherwise I'm just gonna sit here talking to you forever <laughs> see you in a bit <laughs> okay guys ready to go yeah yeah so 16 minutes all together Every two minutes. Every two minutes, yeah. Every two minutes. I thought we were going to have more minutes. In ten seconds. Okay, guys, off you go. So one power clean. No touch and go for that. What do I do? I don't know. So go from the hand to hand power. I mean, I don't know how not to touch and go. <laughs>
Hey guys, so oh, I've got chalk all over the camera. <laughs> I got home and had lunch, but my hip flexor is in so much pain. I think it's just because, like, on one of the snatch balances today, I caught it and I just felt it go a little bit. I felt like I just should have stretched or warmed up a little bit first or more than I did. Yeah, and it's just twinged, so it doesn't feel very nice, but I've, I've kind of stretched. When I got home, I was in so much pain, I just, like, kind of got the massage gun on it and um, stretched for a bit and tried to ease it, and it has got better, but it's still there. So, yeah, I didn't film because I was just rolling around on the floor. <laughs> I had lunch, and I think I'm going to get on the bike now. I'm going to do a really low intensity workout but quite a long duration one i think i'm going to do like an hour and just sit on the bike watch some really chilled out youtube videos some businessy kind of stuff and just let my mind wander because i feel like that's, that's what i feel like doing martin's watching football anyway it's nice and sunny and i've got the bike as close to the door as possible because it's really warm too so i don't want to be too hot but also it's it's nice to be in the sun so i am in the luteal phase in my cycle this week and honestly i've barely trained at all which is which is what happened last time i just feel so drained and so exhausted i'm not sure if there is anything i can do to help myself feel less exhausted in this phase of my cycle but i need to look into it i have been trying to focus on like a bit of recovery i had a load of red days last week because i was training a lot and i felt like i just needed to like slow it down and now I have, i've had some green days i'm on like 79 percent recovery today which is green which is all good but still my energy is quite low and i feel like i don't have the power or the intensity that i normally do 
I know it's gonna pass and I know in a couple of days I'm gonna start feeling better again and then I'll go into like the ovulation phase which is like for me like really excitable really energetic and just wanting to train myself into the ground all of the time <laughs> so it swings and roundabouts I'm just trying to learn to go with it and I've also been a lot more anxious this week um, and I've learned to just realize that that's kind of normal I don't have to train super hard all the time and it's okay to like just go with it I think because overall I am getting fitter and I feel like I'm definitely getting a lot fitter at CrossFit which is good and I'm really enjoying the classes again training today was really good I peewee'd my snatch balance again which is mad so now I can snatch balance my one rep max snatch which is I should be able to snatch balance more than I can snatch but I've been doing it wrong like since forever so yeah <laughs> i was really happy with it um really happy that i can finally do that hopefully now it's onwards and upwards and the snatch weights will increase fingers crossed <laughs> i just feel like i'm constantly trying to correct my technique and figure all of that out but i am getting better and today's little complex which was power clean squat clean hang power clean hang squat clean and then jerk but with like five second pauses i find that really fun and obviously it's such like trying to focus on your jerk technique which i found really helpful but i am struggling to get into the right position for a jerk still but it is better than it was so it's all little steps in the right direction <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna hop on the bike not put too much pressure on myself just give it a go and do some fitness <laughs> hopefully help myself feel good I was gonna do an hour on the bike, but I only did 30 minutes in the end because it's weird. Like I don't have a lot of intensity in me, but I feel like I can keep going for a while. Like I've got a bit of endurance and I think it's again, partly to do with where I am in my cycle. Like earlier in the weightlifting, I felt like I had no power, no intensity, but I could do, I could put in the work if that makes sense. And I was just watching um, one of John Glaude's videos who is also a beast of beast. Um, I actually started following his channel back when I wanted to lose weight and he is one of the channels that taught me that it was a calorie deficit and essentially started me on my journey. I saw his channel and thought, okay, I can do this. Long story short, I lost over hundred pounds and really got into CrossFit. And now I've competed in CrossFit, I've competed in teams. I'm an athlete in lots of different ways. And um, yeah, and I've been interested in triathlon for ages. I did my first triathlon in 2019, the same year as I did SAS Who Does Wins, um, because they were asking me loads about swimming and I wanted to have something to train for just in case I didn't end up going on SAS. And I want, I've always wanted to do a triathlon anyway. I've kind of, I kind of want to do an Ironman one day, but we'll see. Um, and I liked swimming and it was an open water swim. Yeah, I've been into it since then. I loved my first triathlon, it was so exciting. And since I got back, I got into road cycling last year because of lockdown and I joined the cycle to work team and got a new bike. I loved that, but I realized I don't just love cycling on its own, I love the whole thing I love triathlon I definitely want to do another one so basically I've been in triathlon since I did my first one and then I've started looking up loads of youtubers that also do triathlon as well there's um Emma Abrahamson I'm watching her channel at the moment and I'm just I'm honestly just so inspired by seeing other people train like that and um yeah so I watched one of hers and watched uh one of Obese to Beast videos and he was doing a bike session and then went on a little run and he was doing like breaks every mile where he could rest for 30 seconds and I, it just dawned on me that I feel like I can go and run and I want to go out and enjoy the sun but I don't feel like I've got a lot of intensity so I'm just gonna go out and give it a go and run for a bit and not put too much pressure on myself to like run really fast <laughs> or whatever like I could run a 5k tomorrow if I wanted to like for the triathlon it's not that's not something that I massively need to work on but it is important that I do it and I do enjoy it so yeah why not <laughs> just then I add add a bit of extra training in today because I'm on a green day and I feel like I can but again I just feel like I've got no intensity so I feel like I just want to do more low intensity stuff if that makes sense and Martin's watching football so I may as well <laughs> right I will see you in a bit <laughs> I just 
stop to show you the view. I'm not sure if you can see it though, because it's quite in the distance, but I love windmills. I've got a massive thing for windmills. <laughs> and I just can't believe some days that this is literally where I live. It's mad. Back on to running again. <laughs> I just spotted more windmills. <laughs> Maybe I've like run up to them now. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know what it is, I just love windmills. They're like so big <laughs> and they just feel so, I don't know. I remember sitting in the car as a kid, but it must have been like driving through Cornwall because I haven't lived here since, since I was three. <laughs> um, I just didn't have a <laughs> yeah, I still like that as an adult, even though I'm 29. So I'm walking because I was filming, but I'll just whoo, have a little break as I'm walking and then start jogging again. I've got no idea where I am. I'm just going to go with it and hope I return home at some point. <laughs> I think I've probably been out for about half an hour now. I'm not really looking at the distance, don't know how far I've gone, nor do I really care because I'm going quite slowly. Um, but yeah, I'll just see what happens. <laughs> I love cows too. They're so cute. Hello. I just live in the most beautiful place, honestly. <sighs> Nearly home. I did get very lost and it got dark. <laughs> I got to the point where I had to send my partner some like pinned locations. My phone's on its way out too. But I'm on the home straight now <laughs> and I don't know how far I've been still, but I've hit three villages, so <laughs> a long way heading home. Morning! So it is very early. <laughs> it's about half five and I'm just leaving to go and volunteer at the triathlon. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, I'm so tired. Hopefully it'll be a nice day. There's literally nobody on the road this morning, but I probably, I don't know what's gonna happen when I get to Newquay because the whole G7 is on at the moment and they might stop me and ask my ID and stuff because apparently that's been happening loads in Cornwall. Like, a load of the locals can't move around <laughs> like normally without being stopped by the police to check who they are and why they're in the area which is infuriating but hopefully it doesn't make me late so i am on venue control and then i'm on the bike just like directing people and go in the right direction so it shouldn't be too difficult and um, i think i'm on the bike at like 7 15. I'm not sure what time I'll finish. I was tempted to bring a bikini so I could go for a swim, but I haven't done. <laughs> I'm so sore from yesterday. So yesterday, I, ooh, pheasant, that was pheasant on the road. Uh, yesterday I went for that run and I ended up running for like an hour and a half, nearly two hours and racked up like a massive day strain. The run alone was like, 14 I think which is quite high and then obviously I cycled and I did weightlifting as well I just get really excited sometimes about training I just like really want to train <laughs> and I'm kind of as I was saying kind of interested in a bit of like ultra running I'm running at a slow pace but for a like, long period of time I'm going slow but I was like just like slow and steady the whole way and trying to keep to a pace that I could maintain for as long as I felt like and I didn't end up wanting to circle back around so I knew that it would loop up eventually and I'd be able to get home but yeah I hadn't really pictured in my head how far that was and I sent my partner a few like pin drops like my phone might die and I don't know where I am yet <laughs> which is funny because I do have this like 
there's been a few times where I've got too tired to get home on a cycle and I've had to get mine to come pick me up. <laughs> I feel bad about it, but like, he's lovely. He'll come and get me no matter what. But yeah, I didn't want it to be another one of those occasions. <laughs> but this time I was, it was because I was lost. It's fine, I, yeah, I got home in the end. My, my thighs do rub together when I run and I should have thought about this. I should have worn longer shorts, but obviously I didn't. So I've now got friction burn on my thighs where they've rubbed together, which is great. So I got home and I was fine the whole run. Like I, I barely felt like I was doing anything like because I kept, I kept the pace quite slow. But when I got back, it just started to set in and my body started to freeze up. <laughs> and then I put some like pseudocreme on my legs, but then obviously I didn't then put shorts back on top because I had so much pseudocreme on my legs. And it was really hot still. And I went downstairs. <laughs> I literally lay on the garden in my underwear and a ton of pseudocreme, just kind of wailing <laughs> and looking quite sad <laughs> because I was in pain and my partner was just like what are you doing he was he was just like I'm used to it by now this isn't the first time and it won't be the last time <laughs> and I'm like yeah that's pretty accurate so um yeah at least he's accepting of me <laughs> I do just get myself into this like fitness induced mess quite regularly like I just get really excited about training and then I put myself in a hole and regret it and today I am kind of regretting it because I'm quite tired but I also feel like it's gonna justify me having like a day that I can just rest not that I need to justify a rest day because I don't because I, I have a rest day anyway but I feel like it gives me more of an excuse to just sit in front of the TV when I get home and not do anything at all I do like a day like that and I feel like I need a day like that before I go back to work on Monday. Niki is not actually that far from where I live. So, well, I've not driven there from my own house before. And it seems to be down a load of windy lanes. You know, I don't like doing this whole, like, talking to the camera when I'm driving. But, like, it's completely hands-free, so it's totally fine. It's just like I was talking to somebody that's next to me. But I know you get that horrible, like, background engine noise. There we go. <laughs> so I'd rather not do it, but I feel like this morning I would be so late if I tried to chat to you guys before I left the house. <laughs> and I felt like I needed to explain what happened yesterday because I feel like sometimes you guys get footage of me doing fitnessy stuff and then nothing until the next day. And it's literally because I've just killed myself doing that fitness thing, whatever it was. Yesterday was the run. It does happen. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you're somebody that just gets really excited about it and then buries themselves because I'm sure there's other people out there like me. I know like in the real world and quite a lot of people can't relate to that but I just I just get so excited. I just really enjoy it. And I think that's a good thing. I'll stop chatting to you and try and concentrate on the directions and I will see you in a bit. This is my first triathlon last time when I did it. So I'm at my point where I've got to wait a location where I'm supposed to marshal from, which is exciting, but it is in the middle of a roundabout in the middle of Newquay. It is a Sunday morning, so there's not a whole lot of traffic, but there is some and the roads aren't closed, so I'm kind of worried about that. I'm sure they know what to do. I'm sure they're good enough on a bike to avoid traffic. But yeah, I didn't expect to be this far out. I am like, I, it was a 40 minute walk from the sea, from where they're doing the swim to where I am now, which is a bit mad. But I am finally here, so now I'm just gonna wait for them. I'll see if I can get some footage of it. It's a beautiful day, like they're so lucky with the weather, although it has been good this week, so 
I'm nervous because there's quite a few different races going on so there's like the Olympic and then there's two other distances so that's going to be interesting to direct them and they go different different ways depending on the people that are doing the longer distance have to turn around on the roundabout here so yeah that's interesting I'll see how it goes I'm sure it'll go fine six hours later Hey guys, so I literally came home and I'm so out of it. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, it's really sunny, really warm and I've caught the sun quite a bit but also just being out for that long and I had like a 40 minute walk to the bike post. I should have thought about it and put my car somewhere accessible or <laughs> maybe just volunteered to do the run or something instead because it was too far without a car. I had to walk. 40 minutes there and then 40 minutes back <laughs> and then plus the 20 minutes it was to get to my car as well it's a good like two hours of walking in the blazing hot sun <laughs> so yeah i'm very tired and obviously i got up at 5am this morning to go so i was tired as it is and i just don't do very well on no sleep <laughs> so i came home and napped for two hours which is not something that i do but i was just so tired <laughs> kind of woke up sort of halfway through the England game and uh, watched a bit of that which is nice I feel like it's really late now but it's not it's like three o'clock <laughs> so yeah I think yesterday was quite silly of me <laughs> overtraining but it was really good fun I did really enjoy it and I feel like my energy is up again today so that's good news hopefully this next week of training will be really good I will say, um, doing the triathlon, I don't think it was worth doing it to not pay for the ticket because I think I would rather have paid the 40 quid than do all of that stuff they did this morning. It is nice to volunteer. I thought it would be similar to volunteering as a judge at a CrossFit competition because you get to like meet loads of new people, like all hang out, have a laugh, but it was honestly me standing on my own on a roundabout half the time and I thought I could get some footage of the athletes doing it but honestly there were so many cars and the athletes were all really spread out so it would have looked really rubbish and I didn't get to see them set off, I didn't get to see the swim, I didn't get to see the run because it took me so long to get back. It wasn't exactly what I expected but at least I get a free ticket for the Falmouth one now so I'm definitely in for that. One thing I would say though is if you are interested in doing a triathlon and you've never done one before, you've never seen one before, then I think it would be a good thing to volunteer to support one so that you can kind of see how it works and see what it's like, what different people are doing to kind of educate yourself a little bit on what it's like. I can see it would be helpful for that, but I can't say it's something that I will be buzzing to do again. I probably will, if I do it next time, I'll just tick like venue control or registration or something first instead of walking to the bike or maybe just plan it a little bit better because I feel like I was very silly. And also doing all of that training the day before when it's so hot right now and then being out in the sun, it's just not fun not good i don't do well in the heat like i do i like the summer but i'm more of a winter person <laughs> i do like it when it's sunny but i feel like i need a lot of time indoors when it gets too hot i just can't cope with it <laughs> like i need to sort of balance it out if i spend half the day outside i will spend the rest of the time inside i'm gonna go and have a shower and recover a bit from my weekend because i'm back to work tomorrow and i'm knackered <laughs> What have I done? Oh. I live and learn. Honestly, no, I never learn. I always overdo it. I just get really excited about training and stuff and just doing things. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It probably was a bit all over the place and I just did lots of fitnessy things, but I think you like seeing that anyway. If you are interested in doing another sport, like, go and give it a go. Like, have a go. 
look it up it's so much fun i do love dabbling in lots of different things and i i really am really excited to do my triathlon soon i want to go for a swim though like i wish i'd gone for a swim this weekend but anyway <laughs> yeah so next week hopefully i'll be doing the ab sale and i will see you in that video i'll see you in the next one have a good week bye guys